hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am marie france and in today's video i'm gonna be talking about my instacart experience if you're not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe and make sure that you don't miss anything from me we're gonna get into this video so let's get started I never used Instacart. Even when I saw it, I was like, wow, that's not for me because I like going to my grocery store to pick up my food and get everything that I need by myself. So like I see people posting about their Instacart, like, oh, why didn't anyone tell me about Instacart? Like, especially during COVID, there was like a lot of popularity about Instacart in the beginning of the pandemic because like, especially mothers with kids and you know they just order instacart and have it come to their door so that they won't have to go out there and have a chance of getting exposed to the covid19 so to me it's just no card but one time i was trying to cook my african cassava leaves pundu sombe or whatever you call it in your language and i needed these ingredients so bad like i needed my green leaf onion, I needed my green peppers, my onion, my, you know, like eggplant and such. So I was like, well, I really want to go to the grocery store, but I, I kept pushing it off. Like, oh, I don't, I'm tired. I don't feel like it. Oh, I'll go tomorrow. Oh, I'll send my husband and none of those things have ever happened. So I was like, wait a minute. I think I should try Instacart. So I, it was actually April 1st on my birthday. I signed up for Instacart and I was so excited. I tell my husband, I'm going to order from Instacart tomorrow and such. So the next day, it was like April 2nd, I'm ordering from Instacart. So my husband is always talking about how, like where we live, we have like Wegmans and Audi in our area. And my husband always say how we should buy from Audi because they're cheaper than Wegmans. Wegmans, if anyone is from like area where they have Wegmans, you know they're a little expensive because of like the type of service they provide, the type of product they provide, and everyone just overlook everything like tops, Walmart, um, Audi, and every time it's like you automatically your mind goes to Wegmans. And my husband's like, we should try Audis, like you know they're a little cheaper. So I was like, okay, so since it's Instacart, I never want to shop to Audi when I went to grocery shop. My husband will, so I'm like, well, let me try to shop at Audi and see, you know, it's like, my, I guess my husband is right. So like, I think it was April 2nd. Yeah, April 2nd, I ordered from Audi and I'm all excited about it. So this is what happened. So I ordered from Audi like, maybe like early afternoon and I got an email saying my order is going to be delivered at 6 15 p.m and I'm like yeah I can't wait like I think it was a Saturday I can't wait to get my ingredients and cook for the weekend and such and then I got an email from Audi like close to 6 saying your order has been rescheduled to 7 30. I was like well you know 7.30 isn't that bad. It's not like I'm going anywhere or I need to cook right now. I can cook later on or the next day. So 7.30 came, I didn't see my order. And I got an email from Audi saying they rescheduled my order for another time, another delivery time. But there was no time this time on the new delivery. And this is what they sent me in an email. Shop. Thank you for your patience. 
at this time if you'd like you can still change your order so like you know now that it's pretty much it's 7 30 and they've rescheduled my order and it's gonna be the next day april 3rd so in the morning i'm waiting for the update to get my order i'm not getting any update the app is still saying the same i'm like wow this is bs <laughs> like i need my groceries so i get frustrated i canceled my order and they ask me why i canceled my order and i just tell them why like this doesn't make sense like they kept postponing my order because they don't have a shopper so to me i'm like wow well, i already you know i think instacart are like uber drivers they sign up for a store so they probably don't have someone working who sign up for them to deliver but they're here they grab my order i think they charge you a hold on your card based on how much your grocery wall is so like this time i was buying stuff for like hundred dollars so I think they put a hold on my card for like 120 or 150, something like that. So I'm like, yeah, like they scheduled my, rescheduled my order three times and I still don't know when my order is going to be delivered. Like I've had enough patience, I'm going to cancel. And then I cancel. I'm like, well, let me try Wegmans. So maybe it's a store, not Instacart. So I try Wegmans. And at this time, I was just over my groceries. I'm like, I don't even want to cook anymore. I just like, I just want my groceries here. <laughs> so even work months, I wasn't like too excited about it. I just like bought my groceries and they were like saying your order, like if you're flexible, you can choose flexible and saying your order is going to be delivered April 3rd by 9 p.m. So I was like, I click it. I'm like, yeah, let me just get my order before bedtime. And my order got delivered from Wakeman's. I didn't even know because I wasn't looking forward to it. Like I've had my disappointment from Audi. So I wasn't looking forward to it. And then I just saw an email saying your order has been delivered. And that was like two hours ago when my order was delivered. I was like, wow, this is insane. I guess Instacart is what they say it to be. It's just the difference between two stores because you have everyone signing up for this one store to be shoppers versus the others. So here you have like a whole bunch of people doing Instacart shopping versus here there's like none because no one signed up for them. So yeah, but this is the thing. Like when you're shopping on Instacart, you're just like adding stuff to the cart. So it's like, there's like a, they show like a bunch of, uh, I mean, a bunch of tomatoes and me you know i click add to cart without realizing i have to click the quantity or the pound because to me i'm like okay i want those, those bunch <laughs> but it doesn't come in a bunch like that because they're just showing tomatoes so you'd have to decide because like like who would think about that i think i'm getting those bunch of tomatoes the way i see them so i add them to cart but yeah that's not the case and for the bananas too, that went the case. Also like Instacart asks you if you're okay with like the shopper picking something else that you, is on your list, but it's not in store. It's just like something very close. So like we bought these packages of sausage. Like we always buy like one, but this shopper like cho picked two, two small ones instead of like one big one, which was fine. But like the other thing that I was disappointed was like mainly like the produce. Cause also like when I put like eggplants on there, I mean, I expected one eggplant that, that was for sure. But this person picked like the tiniest eggplants ever. <laughs> like me, I'm looking forward to my big eggplants so I can use it for my recipe. And the eggplant was like, so tiny, like, wow, you, like this shopper just like decided to pick up the smallest eggplant I've ever seen that like that's ridiculous <laughs> so and the other thing was like we always like buy the steaks that we like me and my, my husband and my husband was so 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 disappointed on the steaks <laughs> they were like the thinnest steak we've ever seen he wasn't happy he's like a steak master like steak is like his favorite thing 
and having these little steaks is like i can't eat this steak is like so thin i would like want to eat like two of this and i was like it's just steak we're just gonna eat this and next time we'll go and buy our own and such but yeah like those are the things you have to be like mindful when you show up you ch actually have to like look at the quantity look at the pound and and like because the pictures might be misleading some things are actually what they look in the picture but some things you actually have to pick the quantities like the bananas you see like a bunch of bananas but then it doesn't mean you, to use like yeah i want that bunch of bananas and then you just like in the quantity it says one and you add it to the cart and then your shopper comes and deliver your stuff and there's only like one banana like what the heck am i gonna do with one banana <laughs> Like if I'm making a smoothie for my daughter, like I have all these ba bananas, like first of all, like one banana goes straight to me. Like I just like open it and eat it before I start making a smoothie. And then I only have one banana. Like <laughs> So yeah, those are like few things that like, you should just be mindful when you're doing, you know, just like you pay attention. Like anytime you'd shop anywhere online versus in person. So when I got my order from Wegmans, I realized they delivered my order two hours after and they delivered it like two hours in advance of the time that like two hours before like you know I wasn't expecting it I was just like waiting for another disappointment with Instacart but no that wasn't because I would definitely like be doing more of Instacart if I didn't get a chance to go to the grocery store or my husband like I didn't like send him to go get stuff. Like it's just like that was one situation. Other than that, I'll definitely like go to the grocery store myself or with my husband or send my husband, whatever the case might be. But yeah, that's my experience of shopping from Instacart between two different supermarkets. Like the difference it makes. Like yeah. If you like my story and my video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment down below about anything you've experienced with Instacart. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.